Hi guys and welcome. In the previous lecture I showed you how to create a rectangular array. And now I'm going to show you how to create a polar. This is the one, a polar array. Now let's select this command. They are telling you to select an object, let's select this one, right click. Now they are telling you to specify a center point. For example, let's set it around this point. As you can see, we have this polar array. As you can see, we have like six items. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You can change the number to four, for example. And you have four items. Change it for ten, for example. And then you have like ten objects. Let's see... The other thing that you want to do, let's select 6 again, wait for it, it is now 6, let's for example change the angle between them, this is the what, the angle between the items, so let's change it for example to 30, press enter, as you can see, the arrangement of this will be different. As you can see, there is 30, which is the half, and the fill, the fill, which is the angle between the first and the last one, will be 150. From here, from here to here, 150. Let's assume that you want to make it 360. Back again, let's assume we have, we have it 180. As you can see, this is the angle in the last and the first one, which is 180. And there are some other properties, but we're not going to talk about it. Always make sure that the fill angle is 360, so that it will be a full rotation, okay? And then change the number of items, the between them, and other things will be changed. That's it.